Hello, hello, hello. It's me again. This is Real Talk with the Mirror. Doing another one, y'all. It is Tuesday, day after the holiday. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone had a good day. I hope everyone had a safe weekend and a holiday weekend. Hope everyone is starting to think. Think about the part you play in your life. The part others play. The part you need to play that you're not playing. But yes, y'all, doing another one. Today's topic, um, just thought of this one, I think this weekend, something I've seen, uh, but today's topic is, do women cook anymore, and do men want women that cook? Is uh, a woman that cooks for her family, for the man she's with, the man she's interested in, is cooking uh, for men is that um, a desirable trait in women you know in today's society you know we have tried to change a lot of the traditional roles and the things that I believe were good for us we've tried to change that and why you know there you know it starts somewhere y'all have to excuse me I still have a little bit of a cold but in, in changing some of the traditional roles and some of the traditional things that we do is that helping us or is it a detriment to us in our society and I did go find a couple of little articles. This is one article I found. It says, Why Don't Women Cook Anymore? By Armando Peterson. <laughs> my mother's teaching. Let's see. My mother's teaching is the basis for this question, as well as the seemingly common practice that women don't cook anymore. So why don't women cook anymore? The focus isn't on women alone. Why do men accept wives who can't cook? Or for that matter, why aren't mothers teaching their daughters to cook? If you feel that the slant of the question seems to thrust the brunt of the cooking duties onto the female, that is the intent. Because the woman sets the tone for the atmosphere in the home stands to reason that women do the cooking at least that's what my mother taught me and she learned it from her mother and her mother learned it from her mother and so on and so forth it might have something to do with the bible's view of the woman's role in the home more discussion on that view in just a few minutes at the risk of sounding sexist against the female gender and for the sake of encouraging women to return to the basic principles which God established for the smooth operation of the home it's worth the risk whether the feminist movement initiated the shift away from homemaking or whether the changing tide of time shifted us towards a faster pace including fast foods it's time to take a quick look back and then forge ahead towards change change our thinking about what's important change our habits and schedules to facilitate more time at home change our desire to please our husbands and to nurture our children when several women most my family members were queried about their opinions on why don't women cook their responses were not surprising Some of the reasons given were we just don't have time because of all of the activities in which our children or our grandchildren have become involved in. 
everything we want has already been prepared by someone else and that takes the pressure off of us no one took the time to teach me and i didn't know where to start why waste time in the kitchen when there are so many choices of restaurants open all hours of the day to make it more convenient for the working woman and the final reason i don't enjoy cooking Ooh. <laughs> so that's one article um i definitely like i said there's been a shift in the way women operate or women should be operating in the family structure i i myself i like to cook i've always liked to cook um and not always um there there's a time when i was learning to cook so but once you learn something then you kind of start enjoying it you enjoy doing it but you have to start somewhere you know we live in the a microwave society where everybody wants stuff like that they don't want to take the time to learn it's too hard it's too difficult i don't want to do that i don't want to take time out to uh, learn how to cook a, a good meal <laughs> for my husband i'd rather just what what are some of the things that people say Oh, I'd rather just be the, the sex vixen in the bedroom and that's all he needs. <laughs> he needs to eat too. But yes, that is my topic. Why don't women cook anymore and do men enjoy or desire a woman that can cook? And I would say yes. I think both of us men and women we are settling for things that we shouldn't be settling for you know as far as women uh we are settling for men who aren't providers who aren't uh, protectors who aren't leaders or role models in society men are settling for women who don't have their best interests. they're out for money a lot of times um, they're just not they're not nurturing women they're not thoughtful or compassionate intelligent women and some women can't cook at all and what i understand about cooking is anyone should be able to cook something <laughs> It doesn't take a lot to cook a decent meal. It is not rocket science. <laughs> some things, you know, some things in life you do need to study or, you know, you need to do some learning. But cooking, first of all, all you got to do is try it. <laughs> what you missed that first time. You'll pick it up the second, third, and fourth time. Not difficult to cook a good meal. So when someone doesn't, let's say does not cook uh, for their man, if you're in a relationship, you know, who are you expecting to cook? Are you expecting him to cook? Now, there are some good men um, out here, good cooks, some men who are some great cooks. <laughs> That's a bonus to me. That would be a bonus. <laughs> but for traditional roles, I think women should be the homemakers. And sometimes people do reverse those roles. Where the man is cooking or he's the homemaker. And that's just not that for me, that's not a traditional role. But if you have a man that can cook, that's a bonus. You don't have to cook every day. He might pick up slack or one day a week, two two days a week where he could cook or at least help you cook. And I, I, I don't think there will be anything wrong with that. Um, here is another article, um, Epicurious. What I mean when I say home cooking is dying. 
a couple of weeks ago i told npr's abby cornish that home cooking is dying this it turns out is a buzzy statement npr turned my words into a quote card and shared it on facebook that same day i repeated the sentiment in slightly different words on my twitter account in both instances a robust conversation ensued <laughs> there was some confusion a few people heard my statement as a sort of finger wagging on the contrary i meant only to deliver a fact some others responded by saying that cooking is alive and well in their homes something i love hearing but that doesn't necessarily change the facts about who is cooking in this country and how much what are the facts some folks ask me for my sources so here i'll lay it out everything i know what makes you say home cooking is dying a combination of studies and trends in 2013 nutritional journal published a study that reported that in the 1965 between 88 and 95 percent of meals were prepared at home whereas in 2007 between 65 and 72 percent were that's a 16 percent drop at best a 30 percent drop at worst on the surface, the report seemed to suggest that though cooking had decreased in the 1960s, it is now stable. U.S. adults have de decreased consumption of foods from the home supply and reduced time spent cooking since 1965, but this trend appears to have leveled off, but no substantial decrease occurring after the mid-1990s. But foods from the home supply does not necessarily mean foods that were cooked at home. In this study, anything bought from the grocery store, buy it, be it raw ingredients, canned soup, or a fully prepared meal from the store's deli department, counted as being part of the home supply. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, and there are so many things out there restaurants um, uber eats what is it doordash instacart <laughs> a lot of things that you're allowed to buy what you want get it delivered you don't have to cook you don't have to take the time out you don't have to take the effort and for me i would much rather prefer cooking at home it's it's therapeutic to me to cook i enjoy taking the time out uh, preparing something i know what's in it somewhat <laughs> um you know i can make it taste like i want it to taste and it's for me it's less expensive some people you know and i know people directly they eat out multiple times a week. They're getting food delivered. But then they're running out of money before they get paid again. Now, to me, that doesn't make sense. You know, I could cook something at home and have dinner for two to three days. <clears throat> or a dinner, a couple dinners and a breakfast. And I've saved what let's say each three meals is ten ten dollars a piece i just say thirty dollars instead of spending thirty dollars each day some people let's say people where i work some people eat breakfast in the cafeteria every morning ten bucks easy and they eat lunch every day in the cafeteria at least ten dollars so i don't know <laughs> we can add so if i spend twenty dollars a day five days a week that's a hundred dollars a week times four that's four hundred dollars a month at least that's just for breakfast and lunch. And 
you know this also comes back around to uh financial we're spending all this money on food eating out things probably not healthy for us we don't know who's touching or what where this food is really coming from and we're not investing in ourselves we don't own our homes we, we don't own our vehicles what else um, we're in debt <laughs> so is really eating out does that make financial sense for a lot of us and it's not just about traditional roles it's also does it make financial sense I would say no and I do eat out sometimes but it's rare uh, it's rare you know and sometimes my younger daughter or my grandson they may want to go get a, a sandwich or something from McDonald's and every now and then I do take them but on a regular mm -mm. Someone is cooking for them. My mother cooks for my kids pretty much every day when they're in school for, for their evening meal. So they're mostly getting home-cooked meals. But that's also another perspective of does it make financial sense for us to eat out every day? Is it cheaper to make your own meals especially if you're a one income if you don't even have a man and you're a one income family does it make sense for me to eat out every day and it doesn't to me <laughs> it doesn't this is also another article i found the the harvard gazette does food have a gender a culinary historian and a chef explore the social and cultural connections. You know, and in different societies and different areas, people do have different roles of what um, the genders do. Female gender, the male gender. It does depend on where you're at or where you're from. But women are the traditional the traditional roles of the, the cooking, the nurturing of the family. Throughout time and in many cultures, food, whether in the home or professional domain, has long been associated with gender and a range of social and political realities. Culinary historian Barbara Haber and celebrated chef Lydia Shire explores some of those connections during a recent talk titled Does Food Have a Gender? sponsored by Harvard's Peabody Museum of Archaeology and Ethnology and moderated by food jour journalist Louisa Kaslan. Pages filled with recipes offer a window into social culture change for Haber who curated a robust collection of cookbooks at the Radcliffe Institute Schlesinger Library. I know I didn't pronounce that right. <laughs> she says such texts reveal social norms at any given time and place. Those norms placed American women in their home kitchens throughout the 19th and much of the 20th century. A 1901 cookbook refers to the man of the house who cheerfully sallies forth to labor for those he loves. With a perfectly packed lunch, she said, and warns women against carelessly sliding your loved one by ignoring his carryout meal. <coughs> Excuse me. It was making it clear, said Haber, that women should be saving their households from being their sinks and stoves. Still, some women rallied against such stereotypes. You know what? And we do always want to these days women don't want to be the stereotype of a woman they want to be able to flow into different gender roles male roles 
you know, and sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, some of the things we try to do, we just, it, it seems like we just want to do something different. You know, women are traditionally cooking for the family. Keep doing that. Why we, we always got to always buck the system. <laughs> And it doesn't always work out well. Still, some women rallied against such stereotypes. In her 1878 cookbook, My Summer in the Kitchen, Hetty Morrison describes the diabolic, diabolically expansive qualities of rice. <coughs> Excuse me. And criticizes writers of cookbooks who set up false expectations, said Haber. But Morrison was largely the expectation. Even writers Irma Bombeck and Peg Bracken, 20th century humorists, known for their wry takes on home life, sort of accepted the cards they were played, said Haber. And it wasn't until Betty Friedan came along with the feminine mystique in 1963 when the whistle was spontaneously blown. But yes, we definitely do have traditional roles. <coughs> Excuse me. These days, a lot of women don't want those traditional roles. But, and again, women, women have the babies. <laughs> women are pregnant for nine months. Women are it's kind of set up for us to to nurture the baby to take care of the baby yes men are supposed to help but certain things women are we're just made for but do women cook anymore a lot of women don't they're too busy I don't know, is, is it too much effort? I don't, and like I said, anybody can learn how to cook, man or woman. It's not difficult with practice. And is it, you know, I think it's kind of a cop out. <coughs> Excuse me, especially if you have children. It's not good to eat out all the time. It's not good on your wallet. And it's not good for your health. And this is a society where everybody's sick. Everybody has some type of illness, some type of allergy, some type of this, some type of that. And we have access to we have access these days to so much food. And, and in some places they don't, but you can still cook. <laughs> you can definitely cook. And if you weren't taught to cook, you can learn to cook. There's really no excuse with, with Google or YouTube that you don't know how. If you can hear and see and listen, comprehend, you can make any kind of meal. And do men want women that can cook? Like I said, I think our expectations are going down the drain as far as men and women. If I was a man, I would want a woman that can cook. It's it's a part of life, eating every day. <laughs> and who would want to eat out every day? I wouldn't. It seems wasteful to me to want to eat out every day. I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't support it. I wouldn't. Can we eat? No. We, we can cook something. And of course, if you're a child, <laughs> kids would might want to eat out every day, but we're, we're not children. 
We're adults. And that's like a lot of a lot of the things. Like I said, we live in a, a microwave society where we want things go just like snap of a finger. Things take time. There's a process. It takes time to cook a meal. And a lot of people, you do have time. If you got time to be on Facebook or Twitter or on the internet, if you got time to be watching uh, TV shows and watching movies all evening you got time that's an excuse that's a lie you do have time and for those that don't work or don't have jobs and you are at home you have no excuse than to cook a good meal you got all day you know if i had all day to prep and well i don't want to do it okay well what, what's your other options? It's an expense. You're buying out every day. That's an expense. Again, what's important? Nutrition, health, finances. We got to start adding up stuff. Does this really make sense on paper to me? Like I said, some people, $20 a day, easy. Easy. Some people, 30 Thirty dollars a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a latte in the evening. All that stuff adds up. And again, you're in debt. You don't own your home. You don't own your car. You own some food, though. You don't. You don't even have any stock in the companies you buy food at every day. <laughs> Let's make stuff start to make sense. But yes, I do believe men want women that can cook. This makes sense to me. And we're, they, they may settle for a woman that can't cook. And can you imagine being with a woman or being married to someone for 20 years, 30 years, and they don't know how to cook? They never learn how to cook. There is no desire for them to want to cook. So that means that job or that responsibility, even that time at home, and cooking in your home, that shows care and consideration for your family. So I, I, I think men do want women that can cook. It's a bonus if he can cook too. Definitely a bonus. definitely a bonus if he can cook but yeah and I think a lot of people a lot of men we get so focused on we get so focused on some of the stuff dumb stuff you know can she have sex with me all the time but you gotta eat every day sir if you you, you can live without sex but you can't live without food <laughs> you know and eating out every day those foods are not healthy for you. Not all the time. I imagine there are some that are healthy, but processed food, a lot of fried foods, trans fat, all kind of stuff in it. A lot of unhealthy people. And what are these people eating every day? People with illnesses. What are they eating every day? Are they eating home cooked meals? Are they eating out all the time? what's in their diet overweight obesity and you can be overweight and have, be a home cook too you can. but we just have we have to start analyzing what's working what's not working and, and stop making um, exceptions if you want a woman to cook find a woman that can cook just because somebody looks pretty and y'all got to eat out every day. <laughs> that gets old. That would get old for me. Well, damn, I'm tired of this. And it's like I'm throwing money out the window. And it's not even good. A lot of food today, 
I can do better than that. So why am I going to continue to waste my money going out to eat when I'm not even satisfied with the meal? It's okay, you know. Why do I want to go pay for something that's just okay? And it's a treat every now and then, but I'd much rather cook something. I know how it's going to taste. I can have some for the next day. I know what's in it. I enjoy cooking for my family. That's something I can do for them. And if I was in a relationship, that's something I can do for my husband. <laughs> Fiance, future husband. <laughs> But yes, you guys, that was my topic for today. Do women still cook? A lot of women don't. And if they do, is is maybe something simple. I was listening to one man. He said all his wife cooks is taco salad. And it was something else really simple. But is that really cooking? What type of effort is she putting into it? And he was just complaining about that, that she doesn't cook anymore. And she was complaining that <clears throat> he criticized her cooking. But again, and I, I don't mind someone criticizing my cooking because I'm going to try to improve it for the next time. And then it, you can't criticize something that's good that would be my thought but everybody's not the same some people don't like criticism are more offended by criticism <coughs> but if it's constructive criticism I can take it I'm good well what did you not like about it oh you added too much okay let me take that back um, take a little bit less out uh, or more out Uh, sometimes I might even say, well, you cook it. Let me watch you cook it so I can learn how to cook it from you. Then what, what, what could you complain about then? Nothing. <laughs> but women being in the kitchen, I think that is a role. And I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that role. And of course... <clears throat> there are going to be those that don't, but women are just supposed to be the nurturers. We're not the men. There, There's a difference. And I know everybody wants to <clears throat> have everything these days fluid, and I can be a man one day, I can be a woman the next. No. I don't believe in that. Are women more likely to cook? Home cooking in the United States increased from 2003 to 2016 with greater increases among men. Although women remain more likely to cook and to cook for more time. Do women with less education cook more? This is a good uh, fact. Women with less education spent more time cooking per day than high educated women. But the reverse was true for men. Among men, the percent who cook increased. That was interesting. So less educated women are cooking more than the highly educated women. You know, when, sometimes when women get more educated, they think they are too good to do some of those traditional role, traditional roles. <clears throat> But yes, y'all, this was just a quick one. I think I went over my 30 minutes. <laughs> but I do think it's important that we start cooking for our families, for our homes. You know, I, I don't think there's anything better than a home-cooked meal. You know, that my mom cooked for me, even my dad when I was growing up. It, a home-cooked meal is something 
that's important, is valuable. To me. <laughs> you know, you're taking time out, you're preparing the food, prepping the food, putting it on a plate, presenting it to your family. What could be better than that? Another article, Modern Women Who Can Cook, a Minority. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But when it comes to modern women in aprons, a rare sight, it seems they aren't exactly satiating a bloke's hunger pangs or setting his heart on fire with their lamb roasts and chocolate truffles. These days, according to the complaints from single blokes, I hope I'm saying that right, my newly engaged mate Tom and a very fiery Gordon Ramsay, too many women nowadays are living in a haze caused by the sex and the city hangover where ovens are used to store clothing. Okay, maybe not that far, but you get my drift. And women prefer to do other things, yoga, shopping, working, drinking mojitos, then spending the evening organic grocery shopping and whipping up a hearty meal for two or for your family for four or five, six. The Good Food Channel in Britain backed up this hypothesis with a study of 2,000 men and women finding that one in six women simply can't cook. And again, like I said before, it's not that they can't cook, they don't try to cook. Anybody can cook. So is the ancient art of winning a man's heart that was once passed down from generation to generation dying with the advent of the modern independent woman? Do women nowadays believe that feminism gave them the right to put down their spatula and leave the oven to the blokes? Has the climb up the corporate ladder meant that women have stepped on their domestic domestic their domestic duties in favor of well not bothering at all and what else are you doing with that time that, that again we spend hours on the internet hours watching tv oh, i gotta watch my show tonight i gotta do that it does not take long to cook a decent meal for your family or yourself or definitely for your husband or your boyfriend but yes, y'all, that, uh, let me stop before I keep going. This was um, just a quick topic. Do women cook anymore? And I do see some a, a lot of good cooks out there. But do they do it more often than not? Or is it like a special occasion? And do men want women that can cook for them that do cook for them and just because you can do something if you're not doing it then you know it's basically a waste it's a wash <laughs> but again you guys i hope everyone had a great weekend hope everyone is doing well thinking about their lives the parts you play in your life the parts you play in your relationship is cooking important to him and you don't even know it or he's not even saying it a lot of times we're not even communicating what we want from our relationships but yes y'all this has been another real talk with Tamara podcast <laughs> everyone have a great rest of the week peace <laughs>